Last Tuesday, Americans elected him as their leader. Yesterday, Donald Trump called President Andrzej Duda and sent his wishes to the Polish people on Independence Day. He also asked to thank Poles for their support, especially those Poles living in the United States who voted in the elections. He said he knows that the vast majority of Poles in the United States, the Polish community, the so-called Polish Americans, voted for him. He said he is extremely grateful for that and that he remembers about Poland. Donald Trump has invited Andrzej Duda for a meeting before the president-elect even takes office. The time and place are yet to be determined, but both leaders have already identified topics for conversation. Security issues, issues of economic cooperation between Poland and the United States, upcoming events that will take place, starting with the Polish presidency, through the trilateral summit, which will take place in Warsaw, and in which President Donald Trump participated in 2017. We will also talk about the situation in Ukraine, of course. Donald Trump's previous term in office was full of numerous meetings with the Polish president, building strong Polish-American ties, economic and military cooperation. It was during Donald Trump's term of office that American soldiers strengthened NATO's eastern flank and our country gained access to the most modern equipment produced by the American armament industry. And it's but an honor to have personal you, relations president. are also perfectly important, and the mutual respect between the two leaders was evident during every visit and conversation. Both first ladies, Agata Duda and Melania Trump, are in a similar relationship. President Duda is not only a proven partner, but is also a friend of Donald Trump. Donald Trump rarely establishes such relationships with foreign leaders. Both men have proven themselves on a win-win basis, that is, issues for Poland and America were won. And these proven four years have later moved on to more personal relations. Trump's visit to Warsaw at the invitation of Andrzej Duda also went down in history. The American president spoke beautifully about Poland and the Poles. Poland is the geographic heart of Europe. But more importantly, in the Polish people, we see the soul of Europe. Your nation is great because your spirit is great and your spirit is strong. For two centuries, Poland suffered constant and brutal attacks. But while Poland could be invaded and occupied and its borders even erased from the map, it could never be erased from history or from your hearts. The good relationship between the two presidents also bore fruit as Donald Trump struggled to return to the White House. President Andrzej Duda visited the candidate at the time at the Trump Tower in New York. Donald Trump also gave a special interview to Republika there. Well, I love the Polish people. As you know, I was in Warsaw and made a speech and uh, the relationship with Polish people has just been extraordinary and I hope they get out and vote for me because the other side does not like the Polish people. They don't like religion. They don't like anything there. Not surprisingly, polls with voting rights in America strongly bet on Donald Trump, who, in his election campaign, spoke of values close to our countrymen, faith, family, security, and the economy. The votes of Polish Americans also tipped the scales of victory to Congress, where Republicans are one step away from full power. Frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. And now it's going to reach a new level of importance because we're going to help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And 
The start of Donald Trump's second term coincides with the end of Andrzej Duda's presidency. What will Polish-American relations look like now? Much depends on the outcome of Poland's presidential election in May. Civic platform candidate Radosław Sikorski has repeatedly insulted Donald Trump, as has Sikorski's wife, columnist Anna Applebaum. Rafał Czaskowski, who has presidential ambitions, met Alexander Soros, the son of George Soros, who has carried out many media attacks on Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a crook, and if he gains power, he will become a dictator. Trump is a threat to the world. Donald Trump will shatter the unity of Europe. Trust is the foundation of strong international relations, and good relations with the United States is a guarantee of security for all Poles.